Hello, everyone. I'm Hideto Harashima from Japan. Today, I will present on course sharing facilitated by learning tools interoperability tongue twister, or LTI, better known as LTI. Uh, sorry to say, my research partner, Mr. Tom Rawson, couldn't make it down to Sydney today. So I'm alone. Anyways, Tom and I have been engaged in a lot of projects. And Tom and I have common desire or needs, that is to link Moodle sites together for various purposes. For example, we want to share resources between each other. Okay. We wanted to, uh, to, to, to uh, realize online communication and col collaborations between students st studying at different st educational institutions. Or we wanted to have group instructions of teachers, team teaching, or grade transfer. We want to, to transfer our grades to each other's Moodle sites. So in order to uh, achieve these goals, uh, we've been using Moodle networking, or MNet, for, for, for several years. Uh, in most cases around the world, Moodle is usually uh, used as separated and isolated si uh, situation like this. But if we link these you know, separated Moodles together, we can have a power of linked LMSs. Now, this is much powerful and sophisticated than just individual Moodle sites. So we've been doing a variety of MNET activities since 2010. And these are uh, 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 some of the projects we have been doing. But Around the year 2014, Moodle headquarters decided not to support MNET anymore. That was a shock to us. What? <laughs> what should we do without MNET? We can't do all these activities. Okay. So we, look, look, we started to look for another uh, tool to network Moodles. And we found more sophisticated way of linking Moodle sites together. That is LTI. At that time, LTI was a third party uh, uh, plugins. But now with Moodle 3.0 up, Moodle uh, LTI has been incorporated into the core of Moodle. So we started using Moodle LTI. But for those of you who do, do not know what LTI is about, well, it's an industry standard uh, proposed by IMS Global Re Learning Consortium, and it allows objects to be published and consumed across different LMSs. And this uses a secure link to an external tool, and it supports cross-platform integration between different online learning environments, such as Moodle to Blackboard, or vice versa. Moodle to edX, or Moodle and Moodle. So these different LMSs can be linked, connected to each other, as if they were just one system. Isn't that great? Now, we just fall, fell in love with this LTI thing. Okay. So in a nutshell, advantages of LTI over MNET are it's a more secure uh, networking system, and activity grades are automatically transferred to your local courses from a d uh, distant uh, provider server. Uh, and it's a cross-platform linking. Uh, it makes cross-platform linking possible. So it's a great system. And we set up a LTI provider server, and both Tom and I uh, let our students get connected to this uh, LTI provider. Then mm -hmm. started doing activities such as this, Grand Canyon Project. Here, students from uh, two different schools competed against each other by proposing the best possible 
uh, travel plan to the Grand Canyon. And these students peer evaluated each other, and these peer evaluated grades or marks are transferred to our own uh, local uh, gradebook, uh, such as this. And this these grades come from the LTI server, and it's, it's, it's uh, embedded inside our local gradebook. So we are very satisfied, oh, no, we are very happy with this thing, you know, by sharing one activity through LTI. Okay. But we are not perfectly uh, satisfied. Uh, activity sharing is simple and easy, but we wanted to see how a whole course can become an LTI pr object and shared between different Moodle uh, Institu insights, I mean, uh, Moodle institutions. Uh, and also, we wanted to have greater control of student behaviors and progress, progress through the course. Uh, in order to do this, we have to become a course manager. Uh, so we started our course sharing project uh, fall 2016, and we designed a shared remote course, which uh, is consisting of these four components, one pre-questionnaire and one lesson on uh, TOEIC activities. TOEIC means uh, English proficiency test, which is very big in Japan. And two forum discussions and one post-questionnaire. This is the design of the course. And the beef of the, beef of the course is the lesson part, which consists of vocabulary uh, uh, lessons and warm-up activity and textbook lessons and practice tests. And all these grades are uh, uh, accumulated into uh, the total course grades. And this is how, it, uh, how the course looks, okay? Uh, daily life uh, activities. Daily life is the topic of this lesson. And uh, uh, we did two subsequent uh, shared discussion forums. This forum is a, sh a shared forum. Two school students get together inside one forum and discussed and evaluated and, and opinion, uh, 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 expressed their opinions together. And this is the second uh, shared discussion on drug sales regulations. Why drug sales? Because one school majored in pharmacy and the other school majored in economics. So we found the common ground. <laughs> and we had a very excited discussion. Uh, and this is the breakdown of the course grade book. Uh, questionnaire 2%, 20%, and TOEIC study 40%, and discussions total. 40%, altogether 100% uh, by simple weighted means. And we confirmed that this whole course achievement grades are reflected back to our local uh, Moodle gradebook. This is Tom's grade, gradebook. Okay. And these are all uh, different activities that Tom is is giving to his, his students. But this here, this one column is coming from a shared course, uh, which is provided by LTI. And as you can see here, uh, the course grade uh, are behaving uh, as if it is just one item in the whole local grade book. This is the beauty of using LTI. Okay. So what all these uh, imply are, it was found that LTI works well with not only activity sharing, but the whole course sharing as well. Okay. By sharing a course, a team of teachers can give instructions and supports to all the participating learners simultaneously and have control over student behaviors throughout the course. So this opens up the, to the possibility of team teaching uh, across the universe. Okay. And also it makes possible for learners to exploit 
courses from different LMSs. Okay. So we can exploit courses offered in Blackboard or edX, and we can utilize these courses, and the grades are boom, transferred into your course as just a part of your course. Okay. And student shared course grades are automatically fed back to the grade book of local course consumer sites as one grade item with preferred weighting. Yeah. So if you want to give 30% to this course grades, you can set a weighting as 30%. Yeah. Or if you want, want the course to be 20% of your, your own course, you can do that. Yeah. You can change uh, uh, weighting as, as, uh, as much as you want, yeah. the way you want, whatever the way you want. Okay. And lastly, it is a much easier and more sophisticated solution than sharing courses using a course sharing hub system. Uh, many of you know Moodle Hub uh, or Hub Courses, uh, where you upload your course and then find another course and download in, into your Moodle. Okay? It's cumbersome it, and takes time and trouble. Uh, but by using LTI, you can so easily exploit and utilize courses offered in different places, remote places, okay? and your students will enjoy you know, uh, collaboration and exchange uh, with students who are living far away from your place. Okay. Thank you very much. That's it.